Hey, what's up guys? Walter with the V-Twin Racing Channel. Uh, I know you guys have been keeping up with Steve and all the things he's had going on with converting that rubber mount sporty. He's done a lot of work and he's done a really good job on that bike. So make sure to give that man his kudos and I wouldn't know anything I know to do with that if it wasn't for him. Um, he's taught me so much over the last so many years that that I could never ever repay him for all the knowledge he's given me. But uh, I just wanted to jump on here real quick and give you guys a little update on what's going on with my soft tail. Um, I've been kind of slack about doing some videos because we had vacation and some other things going on over the last few weeks with kids in school and all that kind of stuff. So just figured I'd give you guys a quick little update. So as you guys know from the last video, we were having issues with the transmission not wanting to go into third gear. So I got rid of the RevTech six-speed transmission. We got a five-speed Harley transmission. Um, it has been undercut and everything has been polished. I have gotten everything pretty much back together. And yesterday, took it for the first test ride down the road and had a problem with it puking a bunch of primary fluid everywhere. Um, come to find out as I tore it apart, we ended up learning that it was leaking from around this seal where the main shaft comes in. Um, I've already put a new seal in it and come to find out we didn't catch it when we put everything together before, but this bearing race should not just slide on this shaft like that. So apparently when everything was polished for the transmission, the shaft got polished as well. We didn't catch this when we put it back together the last time, so kind of our own fault, but lesson learned. Um, I had hoped maybe that there was a difference with the RevTech shaft versus a Harley shaft, so I went to the local Harley dealership and I got a new race today, and same problem. So, of course, I can't get that lucky. So, um, basically what we're going to do is... I've done a lot of reading, a lot of research, and I've learned that it can use some of the green Loctite, which we will put inside that race and on the shaft, give it some time to set up, and that will hold it and not allow it to move and keep it where it needs to be, instead of it being pressed fit on. I've also done a few other minor things. I noticed where we took the heat shields off my pipes that it was burning my boot um, with that bare pipe right there by the peg. So I took the chance while I had to pipes off and I have wrapped the pipes to help eliminate melting my boots. I also um, changed the front pegs to some aluminum pegs that I got. Um, reason being because I had made a custom set of pegs for this bike that actually turned out really nice if I say so myself. Put the Vans grips on them for, for comfort. Um, but these two pegs that I made weigh about seven and a half pounds between the two of them. Um, at the time I made them to look pretty and be longer and more comfortable. I wasn't really worried about weight. Now I'm worried about weight. So we've changed it and put the aluminum pegs on it. And I cut about seven pounds off the bike also doing that. Sorry about the shaky video and stuff, guys. I'm trying to do all this stuff and film myself because all of my family's gone today. And my, my buddy that's usually here at my house is not here with me today to help me film either. So... Uh, kind of doing it solo so uh, please forgive the shakiness of the video like I said but uh, yeah that's pretty much uh, where I'm at nowhere around me sells that uh, green Loctite that I need uh, for that race so I had to order some online uh, luckily I found it on Amazon and I was able to get overnight shipping so uh, tomorrow is Labor Day so I've got the day off of work so uh, I'll be able to put it together first thing in the morning because it should be here early in the morning uh, with the overnight shipping. So um, once I get it in, I can get all that on and let it cure for a little while and set up before I reassemble that primary. Um, and then once I get that done, we'll take it down the road again and make sure nothing's leaking. Double check all the shifting, make sure everything looks good. And um, other than that, I'm pretty much at a standstill until I get the lock tight. So. Uh, Another bump in the road, but we should have it ready for this coming weekend down in Fayetteville that Steve was talking about. So um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you like, share, subscribe.